light existed in the corner of the room, a small yellow triangle of light. Her eyes caught it, held it. Magic they were, golden and devouring. A decade ago, I was their willing prisoner. A lock held my heart, chained, chained, chained me to her. And when at last I broke free, I realized the meters and miles, how far I'd come in the wrong direction, and how much further I needed to go to ever find her again. Light existed in the corner of the room, a small yellow triangle of light. Her eyes caught it, held it. Magic they were, golden and devouring. A decade ago, I was their willing prisoner. A lock held my heart, chained, chained, chained me to her. And when at last I broke free, I realized the meters and miles, how far I'd come in the wrong direction, and how much further I needed to go to ever find her again. What does it mean? I don't know. Well, what does it mean to you? Love? Lost love? Are you asking me? Because if you're asking me, then you obviously don't know. And if you don't know, then why are you here? You need to know. Victor, you need to learn him. You need to understand his wants, his needs. You need to understand where he's been and where he's going. James, we've been working on this monologue for about three weeks. Maybe. And to be honest with you, we haven't gotten that far. So what do I need to do? I can only answer that question so many times. You need to ask yourself. You need to find the girl with the golden eyes, whomever she may be, to you, to Victor. Maybe I'm not meant to do this. Maybe not. All I know is you came to my class for a reason. I'm willing to teach you. But at some point, you have to be willing to try. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just do the work. OK. It's 10 to 4. How about we call it a wrap? I'll give you 10 minutes at the end of next session. You want a cup of coffee? Sure. OK, come on. Come on, 
los golfos? Una locura. He cambiado unos zapatos, he, he comprado un vestido. Te va a encantar, te va a encantar. <risa> you will look amazing. ¿Quieres tomar algo? Why not? Por favor, dos cabas. I'm cooking for you. Here? Here's Sylvia. Sylvia. Hello. Hi. Hola. Hey. How are you? Hi. You? How's your day? Good, good, good. Yeah. Can I help something? To cook? Do you cook? Of course I cook. Here. Oh, thank you. They're so beautiful. Mm. Can I eat you ladies some wine? Oh, aha. Uh -huh. uh, me too. Hey. <laughs> What are you doing? Why is your dad here? Look, I don't want to talk about it. You can't tell me that right now when you're in the middle of moving out. If not now, when are we going to talk about it? James, come on, okay? Don't start this right now. Just because I quit my job? James, go figure yourself out, okay? Because I, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, I'll be down in a sec. So is this it? Will I never see you again? You've always owned my heart. I think you know that. Death is the still water at the door. I see you, Death. I see you. Sure. What is that? 
That's uh, just play I'm working on for my class. What class? <laughs> Acting class. Uh, what, you're an actor now? The whole law thing just didn't work out for you? Yeah. No, I have no idea what I'm doing, actually. Oh, look, I'm off in 20 minutes. Let's have a drink. Okay. Muchas gracias, señora. Thank you very much. Hi, Henry. Hi. So, what do you think? Pretty, quite something. Don't give me that. We thought it was great. Tell me. Honestly, I can take it. Oh, no, you can't, Henry. You never could. How dare you. It was a bit self-indulgent. Self-indulgent? Yeah. Well, thank you. And that really means a lot coming from you. After all, that is your area of expertise, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I told you. Okay. Couldn't take it. Why do you even bother coming? Eso no es justo. You asked me to, Hen. You asked me to. What do you expect me to say? It was a three-hour, one-man show without an intermission. It's barely over two. A man needs to get up and stretch, especially after those cramped little seats. Oh. Well, not everyone can debut their play on Broadway, you know. I'm sorry. I knew it. You knew what? That you'd complain about the theater, about the lack of grandeur. Look. Let's not go into this right now, okay? It's, it's a lovely evening. I want to enjoy it, yeah? I've got Veronica all dressed up, and I'm, I'm going to show off a little okay. bit, huh? Fine. He's proud of you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Seriously, this quarter-life crisis seems a little more dramatic than most. I don't want to be a lawyer anymore. Why does everyone have such a huge problem with that one? It's my life. I'm living it. If I'm not doing what makes me happy, then what's the point? <laughs> you don't really seem that happy to me. So, okay, so tell me about this acting thing. Like, what is it you're drawn to? Because if you're going to pursue this thing, you should really go whole hog, you know? Who says whole hog? Shut up. <laughs> I know. It's this roadblock and I can't tap into it. If I can't connect to this one character, then how can I connect to any other one? I don't get it. Maybe I should go to Spain. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> go learn Victor. You're really drunk, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> this play, the one I was telling you about, it's mm -hmm. set in Spain. I've never been there. How can one understand the experience of Spain if one has never been there? Brit's gone. This place is really awful without her. Go to Spain then. Maybe they have hogs there. <laughs> You're so weird. I think I'm going to bed. All right, don't be an asshole. Go make up. You're a peach, you know that. I try. <laughs> to peaches. To peaches. Like you. Oh. There's a point in life when the problems of the son are no longer the fault of the father. Cervantes. No. Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, what am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I learning 
all of this stuff and giving all of these feelings every minute, every day, every hour, every month, every week. Why am I doing all of this? For what? For this? For a 30 second cola commercial? And I realized I needed to re-examine everything in my life. Everything. And I knew that I was doing this. I was learning all of this. And I was doing all of this. Because I had to. Had. Had to. There was something inside of me There was something inside of me. <sighs> me. Me. That it had to be explored. I had to know my truth. And acting had become my truth. So I can't tell you what to do or how to do it. I can only tell you that you must find this for yourself. You must, 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 must find your truth. And it's only one, it's yours. Okay, it's true. So, who's my next victim? <laughs> Good. Serena Estaba Amar. If she could sleep underwater, she would, because then she would never have to leave the sea. My home, she said. Sand on skin, her sun-stained eyelashes, her brown arms wrapped around me and tangled me. What languages did you study in school? German. Uh -huh. I see. No romance languages. Why? Lamar. Say it with me. Feel it on your tongue. Lamar. 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 I mean, there's a difference. Can you hear it? <sighs> Lamar. Lamar. Right? You can't say these lines kind of like an indifferent American. You have to say them like you know them. Like they're yours, Lamar. Lamar. <laughs> Lamar. 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 Okay, practice it. Just <laughs> Lamar. 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 Practice it. <laughs> I bought my ticket. What? <laughs> I'm going to Spain on Tuesday. You surprised me. Yeah. I think that you'll um, open yourself up. And then when you come back, we can maybe conquer Victor. Do you want me to continue? Uh, no, 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 no. Take it from the top. And this time, hit your R.
light beyond light. The heat, frozen hot. The tomatoes are sliced. The tomatoes. I never tried to. I never even tried. What? The tomatoes? Yeah? Nothing. <clears throat> it's, um, you know, it's, it's just sides. Just, just say them. It'll, it'll, it'll all make more sense when you read the whole play. The whole play? <laughs> Rather large. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks, guys. I think that's all I need to see for, for now. So, thanks very much. Thanks. <clears throat> um, so, who's next? Um, Anna. Anna? Si, yo. And Roberto. Roberto? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so can we go from the top, please? When you're ready. Okay. Do you think? The world gets small at night. Do you think the lights in my room are real? I ache before waking. I fear the morning to lose in you. My dreams. Only if they contain you. Light beyond light. The hate. Frozen hot. Oh, buena tarde, Mr. Lucchesi. Hola, Francis. How is it going? Oh, just picking something up from the little lady. Oh, did she like that book of monologues? She did. She's been channeling Elizabeth Taylor all over the living room for days. Oh, good. Katana hot in Rova. All the actors seem to go through that uh, stage. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, did you happen to get a copy of that uh, um, Splinter's play in yet? Oh, no, no, yet. Sorry. Oh, no? Maybe next time. Sure. Have a nice day. Ask you something. Yeah. 
I want you to tend to follow me. Uh, I'm Do I know you? No, no, you don't, sir. Well, uh, care for a drink? <laughs> don't just stand there with your mouth open, kid. This way. What do they call you? James. Hey, my name's uh, Carl. Proper. Around here, they all call me Carlo. It's an honor to meet you, sir. You okay, kid? You look a little pale. It's just that, uh, do you believe in fate? I believe in the idea of fate. Uh, the hope of fate? I, I don't know if I believe in fate itself. Because your plays are what brought me here. I see. You're... A stalker. No, no, I swear. Seriously, I can't believe my luck. So, you're a, you're a writer? No, I'm a lawyer. I, I was a lawyer. I'm an actor now, I guess. Let me get this straight. You, you, you were a lawyer, but you gave that up to become an actor? Yeah. Well, I guess everyone needs a fallback plan. <laughs> sure. I've wanted to be an actor since I was a kid. I was just... I was too afraid to admit it to anyone. I was too afraid to try. So I became a lawyer, and everyone was happy. But me. It takes guts to do something crazy. I know that one. And now that I'm brave enough to try acting out, I'm realizing that I'm, I'm really an awful actor. I'm stuck. I, I can't connect to any character. It's like, I see the words, but I don't know how to make them real. So you, so you came to Spain to, to make them real? Make Victor real. Oh, I see. Victor real. Yeah, I came in search of Victor. <laughs> Instead you found me. Which in some ways is better because maybe I can ask you what it all means. <laughs> the light exists in the corner of a room. A small yellow triangle of light. <laughs> don't, don't, don't quote Dean Dunn to me, please. Well, why not? Do you know how many mediocre college performances of that play that I've had to sit through about? How many soggy, washed-up, pathetic professors have sought me out over the years to, to glean my secrets on how to write the play? <laughs> Do you think I know? Who is she? What do you mean? The girl with the golden eyes. She's in every play you write. I mean, I've only read the old ones. I haven't read the new ones. There are no new ones. Do you know what it's like to have created your, your best work 30 years ago? How paralyzing it is how, to know that you shouldn't even attempt to try to write again. Because there's no point. You've tried. You, you can't recreate it, any of it. Do you think I could just tap into it magically or Recreated instantly, like that. Don't you think I've tried already? <laughs> so don't you sit over there asking me about this elusive mystery, this golden-eyed girl. <laughs> Truth is, she doesn't exist. Never did. I made her up. Just like I made up everything else. So where you stand? Uh, some hotel I found, the Adagio, I think. Look, we don't want you staying in some old hotel when we have plenty of room. It's just down the road a piece. You come with me, we'll have a drink. Veronica will like you, I think. something? Look, <clears throat> you don't understand the lines. I really don't want to hear it. It's, it's all in the script. It, it all makes sense if you read the script. No. Uh, I was thinking that if you need help with costumes, I like to do that. <laughs> Oof, 
Uh, I, I didn't want to seem... <laughs> I mean, I will still offer to do the costumes, even if I don't get the role. Okay. Anna? Anna, no? Si. What did you have in mind? I mean, you need to read the script first. The whole thing? The whole thing. May I invite you to a drink? It seems you need one. Yeah. Okay, Could let's go. Lovely. So I lied a little bit. <laughs> Not a bad drive, though, huh? Not a bad drive at all. I picked up a wandering minstrel. So I see. Now this is James of California. Oh. Nice to meet you, James of California. Yo soy Veronica de Madrid. Mucho gusto. Oh, he's bilingual. Not that I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> nice place. I didn't have much to do with it. Uh, so, uh, what do you feel like drinking? I'm game for anything. I have rehearsals tonight, so I should probably get going. Right. Nice to meet you. Thanks. See you later. Sure. Good. Do you like vodka? Sure, why not? Ah, let's see now, do we have any lines? Uh, Your daughter's very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what? She my daughter. Oh. Yeah, I know, she's quite a catch. The thing is, uh, she caught me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean... Uh, not to worry. To your health. To my health. Uh, to fate. Que te llevo a la cabana. Cuente. Too bad. Yeah. Too bad. It's early, darling. <laughs> Let me help you, too bad. Oh, no, no, no. Let me, let me help you. So you're an actress. And you? Are you an actor too? 
<laughs> uh, I'm pretending to be an actor, but who knows? <laughs> How do you know Carlo? I don't. What? Well, we just met this afternoon uh, at the theater bookstore. Mm -hmm. And he brought you home? Wow. He must like you. <laughs> Tell me, James, what brings you to Spain? Your husband's place. No, oh, no, he's not my husband. Oh. That's, that's not my choice, you know? What have you boys been doing this evening? <laughs> <sighs> he's a lucky man. No, I am the lucky one. Are you always this bold? You are quite stunning. Why are you here? To figure out what this is all about. This magical life in Spain that inspired your husband. This life that inspired him to write so many amazing plays. And the women too, the women who inspired him. Well, he's never written anything about me. So there's no need to get to know me better for that reason? Why not? Why wouldn't he write about you? <laughs> I don't know. You snagged yourself a good one, didn't you? This house is <laughs> spectacular. How dare you say that? I didn't mean to offend you. Well, you have offended me. Very much. This is my house. It was my grandfather's. I inherited it when my father died. I see you. I see what you're thinking. How dare you judge me or judge him? He had nothing when I met him. Well, his plays were all successful, that is true. But any money he had back then all went to Catherine. And when they split, she got almost everything. So don't you think for one minute that I am with him as some kind of like, like what did you say, a, a gold digger? I love him. I don't know why I always have to defend that point. I'm sorry, really. No, listen. I love him. I pursued him. He sees the world in such a magical way. I just love being close to him. He makes me feel alive like no one ever had. I think I'm going to bed. Look, I can leave if you want no. me to. No, no. He wants you to stay, so you should stay. I want him happy. Your, your room is upstairs. Good night.
Kaffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Look, um, I think I was a bit drunk last night. So you didn't mean it when you asked me to marry you? Right after you serenaded me. Oh. I'm sorry. I said yes, by the way. city tonight I might find a place that I can call home and I'll lay my head against the glass eyes wide as the city rolls by different people deep into themselves eyes straight ahead and arms down to their sides I wonder if another one of us here all like me trying to make it feel right wandering away from what we Hoping against hope, answers lie in the horizon. The uptown, the uptown blind don't take me far enough away from you. So I'll keep riding until I get some distance from today. The uptown, the uptown line won't take me far enough away from you. So I'll keep riding until I hit right. Where are we heading out? Uh, if you think you can find your way back. Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Muchas chicas guapas. I'm sure you won't be bored. Hi. I want you back, Britt. I want you to be in my life. I miss you so much.
life seem more real Try not to complain Try not to feel There's one thousand knives Pierce through your eyes If we live one thousand knives We might finally get Just want to be loved, but only by you. I just want to be loved, but only by you. Ah, Spain, I see she has seduced you, eh? <laughs> When'd you return? Wait. I don't even know. I walked around for hours. You look awful. I feel awful. I called Brit. Ah, uh, La Californiana. See. And? I miss her. I really miss her. So she didn't take you back with a phone call, huh? What'd you expect? You know who she is, don't you, son? Who? The one you let get away. What do I do? Well, you have a couple of choices, kid. Uh, we could do as I did and pathetically write about it for 40 years. Or B. What's B? Get the hell out of here. Go on. Find her. Be with her. Fight for her. Don't don't waste your life away wishing you'd been this courageous youth. It's not a fun choice to look back on from this end of things. I thought you said you made that up. You made what up? The girl with the golden eyes. I lied. I thought so. <laughs> look, what's the point now, huh? I, I have the most beautiful woman in the world on my arm. I have no complaints. Regrets, maybe, but no complaints. Tomorrow night, there's a show I want to check out. You care to join? What kind of show? Just music, live music. Perhaps. But right now, I feel like a swim. How about you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop. It's cold. Okay. I'm gonna open. Window. No, no, no. Don't worry. Dad? Henry. You okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm uh, fine, thanks. See, you so rarely call it. I thought something was wrong. Yeah, I know, Hannah. I... I'm sorry about that. I, I, I need to call more often. I, I really do, yeah. Uh, why should I, suppose? Look, Henry, uh, there's this live music I'm going to with uh, a friend of mine from California. And I was wondering if you would uh, like to join us. You know, just us guys hitting the town. I'd like that. All right. When? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Can you make it? Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can do tomorrow. I, I might bring somebody along if that's okay. Oh, great. <laughs> sure, whoever. Bring them along. It'd be great. It's a she, actually. Oh, oh, yeah, certainly, yeah. <laughs> well, look, uh, in that case, uh, why don't you come by the house? Yeah, come on by. We'll, we'll have some drinks. Uh, uh, Veronica would love to see her. Okay, see you tomorrow then. See you then.
<laughs> so, Anne, how's your new play coming along? It's going well, I think. Anna's costumes are going to be amazing. Really bring everything to life. <laughs> the only thing is I don't actually have a lead. The woman I cast is, uh, is just backed out, which is probably for the best. She wasn't really right for the part anyway. So. It's hard to find English-speaking actresses here in Barcelona that really understand the intricacies of the language. Should have done what you said years ago and moved to New York. But I love my life here. Especially now. Good to see you. Really good to see you. <laughs> Mascar? Si. Wait a minute. What about Veronica? What? Darling, you are amazing. Really, Hannah, I, I think you two would get along very well together. No, it's okay. No. Henry, seriously. No. Why not, Veronica? Why not? We could try it. You see, yo estoy haciendo unos trajes que te van a quedar increíbles, la verdad. Sí, sí. No? She would look gorgeous in the new dress. Don't you think so? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really touched. I do think you're, you're very talented, Henry. Like your father. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have you a role for my young friend here? <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> <coughs> have you acted before? Not really. He's been studying. It's his passion. It's his life force. That's why he's here, to conquer the role of Victor Tito. <laughs> the one role I'll never attempt. Uh, there's a couple of roles I've doubled up. If you really want to try it, I could uh, see if I can make some changes. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'd be honored. Thank you. Well, what time is this music thing tonight, shall we? Should we be going pretty soon? Uh, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. We don't have to go. Oh, come on. We're all here together. It'll be great. Yeah. yeah. Sounds really fun. Come on. Let's go. Salud. Salud. No pasa nada, ¿verdad? Eso es. <laughs> Do you know about the drink? Um, I think Carlo has my drink. I'll go and check. Vale. Espero. Ciao. You'll take it. Something up. You're feeling all right? Yeah, I think I just got a little too much sun. If you need to go home, you know, it's no problem. I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. one thing for you to mess around with your own fate. It's quite another to involve yourself in mine. How, how dare you set this up? How dare you? What, what were you thinking? I didn't know she would be here. Oh, you, you've, you've been planning this all alone, haven't you? you? You were following me, weren't you? Is this some kind of crazy messed up game to you? This is my life. I didn't mean for it to go this way. What way did you mean for it to go? You're the one that told me to be courageous. You're the one that wrote all those plays about her. You're the one that said, go, be brave, and all of that. I saw that you was playing 
here tonight, I thought you and I would go. Hey, what's going on? You okay? Fine, fine. Have you upset him? Honey, everything is fine. Okay, you want to go back inside? Henry's looking for you. Sure, sure, let's go back inside. Let's, let's go. Let's go enjoy the music. Hot in there. Yes, it is. Yes. Carlo. Yes. It is really you, isn't it? You stay in Spain? Oh, look at you. Is, I, I want you to meet. Uh, is this your daughter? No, no, oh, what a beauty. No, no, his girlfriend. My daughter, she's nice to meet you, Liz. We're going back inside now. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in in a minute. Carlo. Do you know it is my son up there, the trumpet player? Time flies, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. <laughs> Going back inside. See you inside. Your son is a wonderful musician. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, I'm a bit biased, but yes. I'm James. I, I would guess son, but um, I made a faux pot tonight already. You want to join me back inside? so stupid. What are you saying, Monica? I know who she is. I've read your plays. I know exactly who she is. So don't, don't, don't try and tell me she's just an old friend. I'm sorry, Brownie. I, I had no idea she'd be here. No me lo creo. It was the kid. He set this all up. I, I had no clue. I don't know what he was thinking. I saw the way you looked at her. You've never looked at me like that. I've never seen that in your eyes. That's all in ancient history. Dust and cobwebs. You say that, but I saw your eyes. This is enough. Eliza. Yeah. 
once. A long time ago. A long, long time ago. Why do you ask? Well, I see you here. And I see it all so clearly. What you must have been like. What that summer must have been like when he wrote about it. What do you mean? When Carl wrote the play. I never read his place, any of them. Why not? It's too complicated and a too long story for tonight. I have all the time in the world, really. I can't believe you never read me. None of them. I was writing my own things. And when Carlos' plays started to get well known, I, it was. I didn't want to be influenced by them. Oh, it was boring. <laughs> it's really boring. <laughs> Tell me about you. I want to know about you. You should read them. There is something I wanted to tell Carlo. Say hi from La Serena. La Serena? He'll know what it means. <laughs> so, my friend, if I don't see you again in Spain, have an amazing adventure. And I do hope you find everything you're looking for. Thank you. Never let myself fall in with anyone before. Until you. You. <laughs> then I must be very lucky. Oh, please. Just leave, okay? Okay. I'll go get my things. Please do. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. I'm sorry. You, you, you do stupid things. It's one thing to change your life, but why do you come here and try to change your mind? I'm really sorry about that. I had no idea she would be there. I don't know why you came here or what you want. But what I know is I don't want you in my house. I understand. ¿Quién coño te crees que eres, huh? Who do you think you are? I don't know who I am right now. Really believe me, I didn't mean to upset you. You know what I did tonight? I was at the hospital all night with Carlo. Oh no, is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. He's sleeping now. 
But for a moment, I thought I'd lost it. And you were... Just leave, okay? Go. Oh, yes. Sorry to stir, but I should have called before. Um, I've been making some revisions to the scripts. I've got a copy there for you and for James. Um, you okay, Monica? You... James is not here. Do you want something to drink? Coffee or something? Uh, yeah. That's great, thanks. Sure, you're okay, Veronica. You don't look too good. We had to go to the hospital last night. He had one of his episodes. Oh my God, is he all right? Why didn't you call me? At times like this, Veronica, you really should call me. Don't be angry with me. It's been a rough night. I mean, up all night, all the doctors. And um, what did they say? The usual thing. Too much excitement. He needs to slow down. But I was so scared. You should just go and see him. See that. But you're all stubborn. Why am I here? You okay, Dad? Why why am I here? Why am I here in this house with that, that poor girl? She, she deserves so much more than this. Sitting beside the bed of an old man and scared to death. I can't put her through this again, you know. I mean, I need to ask you something. Of course. Whatever. What is it? What is this? Are you leaving? Are you leaving me for that woman? After I stayed all night in the hospital thinking you might die? Is that what you're doing? I love you. I love you so much. No me puedes hacer esto. You can't do this to me. I'm just going to camp out at Henry's for a few days, that's all. I just don't want you sitting around here waiting for me to die. Oh, don't say that. Some, someone who can give you babies if you want them. Some, someone to grow old with. You are what I need. I love you. You're my angel. I cherish you. You, you came in. You saved my life when it needed saving. But I don't want to be your burden. You're not my burden. You're my life. I'll never love anyone like I love you. Yes, you will. 
believe me, I will. Henry. Yeah. Hey. How are you? <clears throat> I brought you a copy of the script. So you can get started. I made a few changes. I'd like you to do the role of Ezekiel. Originally, I had it doubled up. Well, I think I prefer you to do that. Thank you. I'm really honored. So first rehearsal's on Tuesday, then every night until we open, which is in two weeks. Okay. Don't let me down. I'll do my best not to. Okay. How do you sleep? Oh, fine, thanks. Uh, comfy little bed you've got back there. And it suits you. Thanks. Oh, this is black. Uh, so, anything I can uh, help with uh, for the play, I mean? Well, it's the dress rehearsal tonight. I'd love to hear your notes. I'll be there. They took the child from her arms. They, they took the child. Silently he swoops in. Silently he swoops in, a nightingale and angel's wings. He adored her. I adored her, light beyond light. The heat, frozen hot. I never tried to. I never even tried. I asked, and you entered. He asked, and you entered. It all means nothing. It all means nothing without you. few things I need to just wrap up here. So if you don't mind, we'll meet up back at the house later. Oh, okay, it's fine, no, no problem. You can give me your notes there. Oh, Henry, it was, it was great. Um, really good. And honest costumes, they were, oh, mm, there was something else. Huh? Thanks. Okay, um, did uh, Veronica leave? Yeah, she had to shoot off. I mean, I'm, I'm sure she wanted to say goodbye. Well, I'll, uh, I guess I'll see you back at the house. Sounds good. You, you did it. You, you're an actor now, whether you like it or not, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Would you want me for a drink? Yeah, I'd love to. A little bar right around the corner. Then. Look, I just want to say that I'm sorry. Everybody's sorry. But don't you be sorry, kid. No, but I am. You are someone with, with dreams and, and, and hopes and, and uh, intuitions. Bad as they may be sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I admire that, that to be able to leave that safety net and just leap, leap into that oblivion blindly, not knowing if you're doing the right thing, just knowing you must do it. Well, you act as if you have nothing to aspire to, as if it's all done and behind you, but I don't believe that. I think you should write something. No. I think the world expects it of you, and I think you should do it. I'm not so sure I should be taking advice <laughs> from you. What about your girl, your, your doctor? Have you spoken to her? 
I call, but she doesn't answer. But I did do something grand and dramatic. I bought her a ticket to Portugal. I sent it to her. She's always wanted to go. So after the show wraps, I'll head down that way. And if she decides I'm worth it, then she'll be there when I get back. That sounds pretty grand. And if I lose her, at least I tried. And you were right. I should have followed her. I give a lot of advice, but I don't even follow myself. Maybe you should stop listening to me. I'm really glad you made it out. It means a lot to me. Me too. Oh, I meant to tell you, uh, the, night that, the night that we ran into Liz, she told me to tell you something. What? What'd she say, what? She said, La Serena says hi. She said that, La Serena. Yeah, what does it mean? <laughs> The mermaid. I can't believe she remembered that. <laughs> no, I, I got this one. I oh. think I think I heard you. Oh, thank you, sir. You. I'm, um, I'm looking for your mother, actually. Uh, I'm Carl, an old friend of hers, and uh, perhaps she's back in New York. Or, uh, but my plan only got me this far. She's inside, actually. She's inside? Yeah, let me get the door. Still have that old thing? Hi. Oh, how do you like that, that play? It's wonderful. So you found me. I have a friend who would say it was fate. Some wine? Oh, yeah, that would be lovely. <laughs> records. <laughs> Who has records anymore?
Season.